pre-Christmas food shop. Oh, look what Mark left in my car. Spice clementine maple syrup and chopped chip waffles. I don't even need to wrap these. <gasps> look at them. <laughs> Everybody. It is currently the 20th. There are five days until Christmas and yes, I did not take off my mascara so it looks really gross. I fell asleep last night on the sofa at 7.30 and I stayed asleep until 1 in the morning when I woke up and I was like, because obviously Alfie was asleep on the sofa too because he wasn't very well and I just thought, oh, I just close my eyes. Like I'm very tired. It's been one of those days the car broke down. Alfie hardly slept the night before, which meant I was waking up every time he was waking up. And I was just very tired. I just thought, I'll just close my eyes for just 30 minutes. Well, I woke up at 1am and went up to bed and stayed asleep until 6.30. <laughs> I feel like today is going to be one of those days where you try and tie up a massive list of things. I've actually just written out a list, a tick list. And that's when you know there's a lot of things to get done because... I can't keep them all in my head, so I've had to write everything out. Um, to be fair, quite a lot of these things I think I can probably get done. But basically tomorrow I'm heading back down to Wiltshire to see all my family before Christmas, give them their presents, wish them a Merry Christmas and just kind of catch up with them. So I've got a few presents I still need to buy. Don't know when I'm going to buy them. I need to wrap the presents. I have, however, got everyone's addresses for the cards. So at some point today, I'm going to go and get some stamps as well. And oh god, this does look pretty bad. <laughs> I'm going to go and get some stamps, and I'm going to post my Christmas cards. I've got a food shop being delivered in this hour. I've got to speak to my accountant at ten. <laughs> I've got someone to come and fix the TV at midday. So when I'm going to go into town, I don't know. But um, we got back yesterday and our TV just isn't working. We can't get any, like, Sky channels. We can only use Netflix and Amazon Prime. Uh, which is fine, but you can't have Christmas without the... the there's the food shop. You can't have Christmas without Call the Midwife Christmas Special or being able to watch films on the TV. Someone's coming around to have a look at that in a bit. Alfie's got the doctors in 40 minutes. It's all going on, guys. It's all going on. It's gonna be a busy day. Right, I've washed my face and the food shop has been delivered. Dun, dun, dun! I thought I'd give you a little overview because it's kind of like a pre-Christmas food shop. And I myself love seeing people's food shops. This obviously is a lot more than I would normally order because it's for six, seven people, not just me and Alfie. And also a lot of it is like backup stuff, like Amanda is actually making the red cabbage. But I was like, let's just get some in case you want more on Boxing Day or, I mean, I feel like the course of Christmas is about a week of just eating Christmassy food. So you can never really have too much of the backup stuff, which is why I've got red cabbage. I mean, these have already come done, but that's just because it's much easier to do it like that. Um, Yorkshire's, I know a lot of people like to make their own, but I've not quite mastered them myself. And then I've got things like cauliflower cheese, broccoli cheese, little bits and pieces that are just nice to quickly bung in on like Boxing Day or if like none of us can really be bothered. Then you've got things like cream, which is always good for puddings. I've also got um, custard and I found this salted caramel cream. I did my shop on Sainsbury's because I'd heard great things about their little like, um, what do they call these? They're like canapes, I guess. So I'd heard really good things about their selection of these. And actually, they do have a lot. We like to do little nibbly bits like this on Christmas Eve. So we've got like vegetable spring rolls, mini pizzas, arancini bites, obsessed with arancini, mac and cheese bites, sausage rolls, mozzarella sticks, lots of little bits like that. Then obviously I've got me veg, little camembert, drinks for breakfast morning. Um, and then we also have smoked salmon on blinis with 
cream cheese so we bought that i do need to get some lemons and some dill as well but uh this is just kind of a pre-christmas christmas we are going to be doing another food shop to get more bits for actual christmas day but for things that don't go out of date until the day after i was like i may as well just buy them and keep them in the fridge now so we've got sprouts uh, bacon for Boxing Day morning if we want to have bacon sarnies. We've got um, some ham for like an antipasto platter. Oh, these again look great. Brie and cranberry phyllo tarts. I bought a dessert, Sicilian lemon and passion fruit snowflake bomb. I know that Sean will love that. Tomatoes for a breakfast on Boxing Day. Some stuffing. What else have we got in here? Some pate, um, pork pie for breakfast morning, some broccoli. These looked insane. Like, look how cool this like packaging is. I mean, it's gonna take up half my fridge, but uh, these again, used by 25th, perfect. <laughs> I rebought all of the chocolate tins, mainly because I purchased these halfway through November. So as you can imagine, two out of the four have gone. And I think we actually only have one box left, with it, which is uh, Celebrations, which has like a little bit of Quality Street, a little bit of Heroes, and a couple of the roses that no one really likes. So I've re-bought those, and I'm not going to open them until at least the 23rd, 24th, so that on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve, we can all enjoy our favourites. Matchmakers, I don't know, these just make me feel Christmassy, so I put those in. We've got carrots nibbly bits we've got salted caramel flavor festive pretzels maple bacon flavor festive pretzels um some chutneys so this is cranberry orange and pork chutney and then this one is pear and mold cider chutney i did order a spiced one like a christmas spice but they didn't have it so they sent that one instead got some fruit that's mainly just to eat in the next couple of days yogurt olives mustard piccalilli Bread, so we've got sourdough, giraffe bloomer. I don't know if the bread is actually gonna last until Christmas. I feel like that was a really silly move of me. Um, batteries, because you always need batteries on Christmas day. These, which I definitely couldn't wrap presents without. Um, what else, what do we have under here? Oh, that's just for me for dinner. <laughs> and then things like breadsticks, um, cheese twists, eggs, and I also got some croissants for Christmas day. Um, a little selection box for my secret Santa for the stocking and then I bought the Cars crackers. You can get some really fancy crackers which we will probably get as well. Some of the more like, I don't know, whole meal healthy crackers full of strange things you've never heard of which isn't really the kind of cracker i like i like your basic cars and jacobs cracker personally poppy and sean are getting all the cheese for the cheese board so i haven't had to get that got some ice um but pretty much just kind of like top line things things i know will last until christmas or that i can put in the freezer so yeah i'm really happy with that i do now need to make a list though when i'm putting this away so i know what i still need to get because you can't do any more online food shops. I just tried to go on a cardo because I really want to get some stuff delivered tomorrow morning. But alas, you can't. <laughs> running around now it is time for me to head into town meeting up with Holly and I'm gonna try and get some ooh, I'm gonna try and get some Christmas presents some last-minute Christmas prezzies oh look what Mark left in my car some cheeky Malwams which ones are your fave my favorite is the raspberry I'm gonna eat some of those I've got my cards Look guys, I'm actually posting my freaking cards. Most have got stamps, but I do have a good handful where I run out of stamps. So I need to buy some stamps as well as presents and get those posted, but I'm so happy, look at that. Big old chunk. Um, if any of you are a fan of Julia Davis, um, who 
is the writer of Nighty Night, Camping and Sally Forever, which is what I talked about in the vlog with Mark, then I feel I must tell you, oh, then I feel I must tell you that she's got a podcast called Joan and Jerrica, Dear Joan and Jerrica, and it's her and Vicky Pettit, what's her name? Uh, Pepperdine. So Vicky Pepperdine and Julia Davis. It is so funny and so dry. Alfie hates it. I love it. But we have both have very different senses of humour. So if you already like a lot of Julia Davis stuff, I think you'll really, really like this. However, it is an acquired taste. <laughs> I just love how on the spot it is and it's so weird i love it so i'm gonna listen to that take my cards oh one other thing i just want to show you because i think it's a really good idea i'm gonna cover up their address this one's to jim and tanya and jim ages ago amanda and nick got me a birthday present which was personalized stamps so this is the first class stamp bit and then they attached a little picture of Nala. Isn't that such a cool gift idea? Basically just buying personalised stamps because everyone needs stamps and you can just put whatever you want on there. I just thought that was really cute. thought it was worth sharing at this time of year where lots of people need gift ideas, you know? Right, where did I put that Malwam? Here. I've got Joan and Jerrica episode 5 very hot in this car though I'm not gonna lie Alfie's been to the doctors hasn't got any antibiotics but they've given him lots of throat stuff I think they want to try and avoid him taking antibiotics but hopefully he'll be okay it's really sad that he's not coming into town with me and I'm equally sad that he's not coming into town with me but I am gonna meet up with Holly so let's get going it's so hot in here fucking hell <sighs> boobs, wrinkly puckered, um, dimply boobs that are going to end up like this poor lady's here. Uh, I'm here! I've just been driving in the car and oh my god, literally dying at Dear Joan and Jerrica. The bit where they're talking about um, the tattooed fringe <laughs> and then the kinder cyst and I've just listened to her mispronounced Greece as Gri uh, what did she call it? Grease. <laughs> and she was like, sorry, what? What, what did she say? She said like, Grease. Um, and you can hear her laughing. Oh my God, best thing ever. What episode are you up to? Holly. Can't take your call right now. Yeah, Where is that little devil? I need to put my cards somewhere. Bloody hell. Just filming the lovely signs. <laughs> I want you to stand under that one. I Holly! Want to stand under that one. <laughs> I wish there was no traffic. I know. Um, You'd have to come in the dead of night. No. Oh, do they turn them off? <laughs> <laughs> Look how magical this looks. Don't you just love Brighton when it's all Christmassy? I love Brighton all the time. Same. I just love it a little bit more when it's like this. There's no post boxes in the whole entire world. Yeah, we're trying to find a post box and there just isn't any. Every time I think I can see one, it's a bloody bin. Or someone's coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or someone's coat. I thought that woman was a post box. <laughs> Come on, where are they? We both saw that exactly the same time. Right, I've got all my letters. I went and bought some more stamps and I bought myself a Radio Times Christmas special. Do you ever go through the Radio Times and highlight what you want to watch at Christmas? I can't say I do. Oh, you're missing out there, Holly. <laughs> Just seeing when it's getting collected. There we go. So I had the idea that because boho gelato has all its Christmas flavours, I thought it'd be really nice to get a little selection to take back. Ice cream's good for your throat, right? Or is it hot? Cold? 
No, I think it's good. Yeah, so I thought Alfie might like lots of ice cream to help with his throat, but also I really want to see if they've got Christmas flavours. You're right. <laughs> what was that? That was what the pitter. What's oh the place we had yeah. the other week? Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. That's a good location. Yeah. Right. This looks nice and quiet. Let's hope it's open. Oh look, it's all festive. Look how delicious these are. They've got Christmas trifle, Christmas cake, chocolate passion fruit and macaron, brandy butter mince pie, pizza dough and pistachio things. <gasps> Yule log, spice clementine, maple syrup and chocolate chip waffles. I might get some to eat right now. I think that sounds like a good idea. Snowball tea infused coconut and cacao nibs. Oh my god. Cold brew Christmas blend. <laughs> what? I thought they said cold brew Christmas blend. <laughs> Merry Christmas blend. <laughs> 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 to Joe Malone and pick up something for my nan and then I'm almost done all done look how cute they packaged it I don't even need to wrap these they're so pretty does your nan watch your vlogs I don't know maybe some of them there's a lot to keep up with this time of year she got a computer. <laughs> they have an iPad Oh. Her and my granddad. They're always commenting on my Instagram, so. No, they're not. Yeah. Granddad Chippy? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Wittard. Just checking up on the products in boots. Sorry. Looking good. Three for two. Don't forget to come in and grab something if you want to get a Christmas present in time. What's your favourite? I use one of these every single day. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to use this every day. The planner? Yeah. And my water bottle I use every night. Do you know, genuinely, I'm not even just saying that, I actually use all of them all the time. <laughs> so good. When we were in the treehouse, Diane was wearing these socks as well. She had the little socks on. Oh yeah, on. I wear these every day. Oh yeah, I wear those every day. Most comfortable thing ever. It looks like they're quite popular, to be honest. Not very many left. No smalls left. Oh, all the small feet, gone. You no, look really nightmare. sad about that. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> I, have, I have tiny feet. Do you That's actually? <laughs> Lift outfit of the day. Got my doocy coat, little little baker boy hat, stripy tee, the necklace Alfie got me, my Gucci bag, and some black skinnies, and my Prada boots. Just in time. For what? The door to open. Oh. <laughs> Guys, Holly's already started taking down the Christmas decorations. You are meant to come in. That makes me so sad. Sorry. Oh, it's not Christmas. Anymore, how can this be vlogmas if you're taking down the Christmas decoration? They won't look going that way. Also, Santa's still there. <coughs> oh. oh, yeah, this is all still here. Oh, I just bloody love these decorations. You know how you said you, you really didn't like them? Do you like them now? No, <laughs> I like them because they really remind me of my nan, but also, <laughs> but also, you don't like them. <laughs> Well, it's just like tinfoil on the ceiling, isn't it? <laughs> Elf, little elf on the shelf. There he is, chilling. Oh, hello office. I feel like I haven't been in here in so long. <laughs> it's on now. Oh, okay. Um, you just missed a delightful cough from Holly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a little bug. <coughs> um, just popped into the office, mainly just to get a, a, a card, like a bank card, but also, I can't resist fun packages in my P.O. box, so I'm going to open this from Kath Kidston. Oh, look at this. This is exciting. Have I opened it up the wrong way, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Jokes. 
That wasn't funny. Oh my god, you can't even do it with scissors. I so can. Oh no, tinsel. Tinsel everywhere. Not tinsel, what's it called? Confetti. That's it. <gasps> oh, Holly. This is a whole box. Oh my of gosh, that's delightful, Christmas isn't it? Goodness. <gasps> what is it? Horses? <gasps> is that tea towels? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I love that. Wait, are these tea towels? Oh my god, they're so cute. This is a little Christmas. Oh, I'm so glad I opened this before Christmas. Jingle all the way. Cute. A little mug. I really like them. Oh my god, they're really cute. They're little ski people. I love them. Ski people. <laughs> oh, here's a little card. Tuesday, wishing you a very Merry Christmas from the team at Kath Kidston. There's so many goodies. Oh, look. This is perfect. Oh, Tuesday. I love it. Notebook, sticky notes, and a pen. Amazing. That's a really big box of goodies. Isn't it? Oh, one of those little bags. <laughs> well, you know what you can use that bag for? Taking it back. Yeah. Oh my god, cute. Look, they're Christmas cups. Oh wow, they're really nice. I think they're little gin, oh, they're wine glasses. Oh my god, amazing. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, did you just try and show? What are you doing? Oh, I thought you were waiting at something. <laughs> no, that's what, what's going on? It's <coughs> a Christmas candle. <coughs> Sorry for Holly coughing behind the camera. So, sorry. She can't help it. She's just German. Mm. What do you think this is? Quick. Uh, uh, um, condoms. I've got some condoms. Um, you're right. <laughs> well done, Holly. What a stab in the dark. Wait, it's not actually, is it? Is this a snow globe? It's a condom. Oh. oh. Freaking guinea pig. Should I put this in my guinea pig's cage? No, it might fall over. Who? The guinea pig. My guinea pig or this one? <laughs> Both. Both might fall over. I think I want to put this in his house, like a little... I don't know if you can put glass in a guinea pig cage. Probably can't. Oh, there's no more. Jokes. <laughs> Imagine if I actually would like that. Oh, he's so cute. Thank you so much. Mush. Mush. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Captain. <laughs> That's very, very, very kind of you. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, look inside his mouth. Have you ever felt that? It's a spongy tongue. Oh, I love it. Oh, right. I've got to get out of there. Can I turn this off? Yeah. That was just recording for five minutes. Also just spotted this delightfully massive Charlotte Tilbury stocking. So I'm also going to have a little look in this. I love this coat, but I can't move it. Are you okay? Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh my days. It's a giant Charlotte Tilbury trunk thing. I think this might be like a 12 days of Christmas jobby. May all your dreams come true. <gasps> it's full of Charlotte Tilbury products. Look, you can open it up. That is so cool. And I bloody love Charlotte Tilbury products. Something else in here. We've also got the Gift of Magic Skin mini skincare kit. Amazing. And Charlotte Tilbury after hours look. Everything you need to take you from party to after party. Oh, excited to see the palette. Oh my God, these colors would look so gorgeous on my mum. They're greens. If it's gonna focus. There we go. Look at those colors. So pretty. That's the Starlight Luxury Palette of Pops. I feel like I'm rushing this a bit because I am actually in a bit of a rush. <laughs> I probably don't have the time to sit and look through my PO box, but it's so hard not to when it's all just sat there. And I want to thank the brands that have said, oh, I've just realized this has my name on it. That 
is so cool. Hollywood lips, mini Hollywood liquid lipstick charms. Look how gorgeous these are. You look crazy from out there. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally just you in all black. <laughs> <coughs> oh, did you just make that squeaky noise in your car? Yeah, it was nice. Nice. Oh, that looks so good. Has anyone else been watching Dynasties? <gasps> A little snow scene. Oh, so this is from. Is it L'Occitane or L'Occitane? Or L'Occitane? Depends how French you are. Yeah. That is so cute. Oh. Back at the car. I'm happy with the bits I picked up. And I'm going to take Alfie's ice cream back to him. And I think I'm going to order some dinner to arrive at Amanda's. Because obviously we don't get delivery where we live. So any excuse to order a delivery to someone else's house to take home i'm well up for but also i think alfie might want something a bit like nice to make him feel better tonight so we're going to see what he fancies um i got given some lovely little dog treats by a company that i cannot remember at the moment but i will show you when i get to amanda's and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go and pick up nala so these are the treats so you've got this one for buzz Bars. And it's by Stylish Eats, and then one for Nala. Oh, you know it's for you. Look at them. <laughs> That's so Is that funny. Is that a prissy for Buzz? And then, blimey, my phone's going crazy. Doggy grazing menu. Dear Nala and Buzz, enjoy, love Santa Paws and Katie. So this is Stylish Eats. What have we got? Doggy grazing, so we've got tasty homemade treats, gingerbread man with doggy icing, soft bite festive cane, festive cranberry and ginger cookie, festive bone with cheddar and rosemary. <laughs> Look at her. There won't be any left. She can smell it. Tasty peanut butter and banana bone, mini peanut butter and banana bone, and there's a rawhide candy cane, and a liver cake, keep refrigerated or freeze. All of the treats have been lovingly made and contain no salt, sugar, or preservatives. Any colouring uses are natural or doggy friendly. Should doggy friendly. <gasps> Shall we look? Let's have a little look. <gasps> this has got your name on it. Oh, these look so oh, cute. Yeah. Look at the little gingerbread man. Look how pretty oh. Amanda and Nick's tree is. Look at Who remembers these two? tree ornaments oh, the two pink the... Yeah. yeah it looks beautiful your tree's taller than ours i know this is the Our biggest you've gone i know <laughs> mine's nearly dead already yeah, it's so the sad in the kitchen let me see what right. do they look like i don't know oh what my to let them god the gingerbread man <laughs> it's so cute do you she'll go for his in three man. two, two one one. Oh god, he ate that so quick. Is that the little fridge thing? Oh, maybe. Amanda and Nick have already got all secret their presents Santa. wrapped. Oh, That's my who's Santa. that? I tried to guess them all the other day. Oh, actually, look, we had these made. <laughs> oh, Some for Nala. the dogs. Oh my god, this makes That's me so it. excited. And That's obviously for Christmas Day. The turkey. Oh board. yeah, the turkey board. So. This is Nick's secret Santa. Do you think it'll fit in the stocking? Oh, Nick! He hasn't quite listened to the rules. Stocking size! No, it's fine. How exciting! It's only in five days. Can you believe how quickly it's gone? Nala! Nala! That is so cute. Look at the little antlers. So Amanda and Nick bought this for Buzz, but it was a little bit tight, so we just tried right. it on Nala. No, he was a little bit too long for it. It wasn't too tight. <laughs> He's taller. He's longer. It was too <laughs> short. <laughs> to be fair, it's quite tight on the old yeah. Missy old Moo. Oh, look at you. Hello, little one. Alf, I didn't give you your surprise. No, no. Do you want it? It's 1am. It's 1am? It's half past 12. 
Oh. That's why I just said, are you going to start vlogging now? I do need to end the vlog, basically. I came up... Is the surprise up here or downstairs? Downstairs. Oh, I've already turned all the alarms this morning. Oh. Basically, I came up to sit with Alf and have dinner with him. And then I fell asleep really early. <laughs> and now I've just been, like, waking up. You literally fell asleep like half seven. Look at her. Right, I am going to end this vlog here. I haven't ended my last two vlogs because I always fall asleep. I've been so tired. I need to take my makeup off as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. And I will see you again tomorrow. Good night.